Google Analytics 4 has some e-commerce purchases reports. They are interesting, but very complex, especially if you have variable products. Uh, if you use e-commerce and if you use Pixel your site to add Google Analytics 4, I will show you a few settings that you might find helpful. So this is a report. Um, it's something that I uh, generated uh, doing tests on our demo website. As you can see, it's quite messy. You have uh, names for uh, variations, you have names for simple products, you have uh, all sorts of data. The thing is, if you want to have uh, this item view, item added to cart and items purchased track correctly, you need to be consistent with the data that you send. Uh, if the session starts on a, an item with a particular name and an ID, Google wants to use this item for all the uh, subsequent events. So item view, add to cart, uh, purchase should have the same uh, data. And with uh, variable products, this can be tricky because um, usually the, the visitors your customer will land on a product page which uh, doesn't have any um, variation selected and then they select a, a particular variation which is a different item in google's view and uh, this is where you lose track for uh, such type of reports so because of this we've added some settings in our plugin this is our um, plugin this is the WooCommerce page and under under Google Analytics ID settings we have a few interesting options first of all you can decide if you want to track uh, variations variable products uh, and to see data for each variation or you want to treat them like a uh, simple product basically send the parent data always for all the events if you want to do so to simplify your reports check this option and save if you don't do this there is an additional thing you can do you can uh, use the parent name for uh, variations WooCommerce uses for each variation the parent name and um, details for uh, size, uh, color, the, the attributes that form the variation. So uh, let me go back. You, you see an example right here. This is the product title and then the attributes that um, form the variation. This is a black t-shirt and the size S. If you don't want to see them like this, if you just want to see the main um, product title across all the reports, check this uh, box and save. Um, that's about it. I recommend to use the product ID instead of um, something else because uh, this is the WordPress product ID. It's always there. It's unique. You will not miss it. Uh, at any moment it's best like this and uh, that's uh, that's it there, there are no more settings in in this respect so if you want to uh, simplify your reports instead of tracking uh, each variation as a, an item enable this or if you want to track variations but use the parent title name instead of that complicated um, title for each variation, check this one. Uh, okay, and that's it. Uh, I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe to our channel.